This video goes out to all of my freelance friends and if you are a freelancer like me, you know that while making your own schedule and being your own boss and kicking butt doing something you love is absolutely amazing, freelance life is not always peaches and cream. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my car. <laughs> if you happen to be new to my channel, welcome. I'm a freelance makeup artist and licensed esthetician based out of Los Angeles. If you enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to consider subscribing. All right guys, let's get into it. This past July, I had the slowest month that I have ever had since joining the industry in 2011. And I was shocked at how much it affected me personally. It's so easy when you're not getting the calls and work is slow to start doubting yourself and your skill. And it kind of just spirals down the hill, just negativity from there. So when work is slow, I really do rely on these tips to help keep me grounded and balanced. So let's go ahead and get into it. Tip number one, have a support system both professionally and personally. So professionally, it is so important because your peers are gonna understand better than anyone else what it's like to kind of go through the ups and downs of freelancing. So it's really important to be able to talk to them about it and, um, you know, and, and then in the same regards, it's really important, you know, personally to have the support of your BFF or your mom or your sibling or whoever your support system is to be like, girl, you're good, like chill out, like stop freaking out, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's really important to kind of have both of those balance. Number two, evaluate your past jobs and don't be afraid to reach out and say hi. You know, you can send them a quick email and you know, ask how they're doing. You don't have to be like, hey, I'm not working, can you give me some work? But <laughs> you can say, Hey, I was just thinking about the the great time that we had on this set and just thinking about you and hope you're doing well. And then just leave it at that. And then you're gonna pop in their inbox and they just might have a project and they're like, oh yeah, I remember that person. I When we need to fill this position, like let me go ahead and respond back. And that's another great way to not only get a job, but also to build that network and build that relationship because freelancing, at least in the film industry, is all about your network. Number three, assist other artists. One great way to fill in your calendar is by assisting. While it's great to get those department head positions and you can definitely make a lot more money that way, assisting is a great way to fill up your calendar and gain more experience and they help fill in the days that I do not have filled up myself. And then sometimes when those guys are working and they have another gig, they know how you work because they've worked with you on set and they're not afraid to refer you to a job that maybe they can't do and that's a, not only a great way to get a paid gig it's also a great way to expand your network within your community I think having makeup artist friends and people who work in your industry friends are so important and integral for being successful in this industry you know makeup artists are not competition there's enough work for absolutely everyone. Another thing besides assisting makeup artists is reach out to senior makeup artists or people who are above you in the industry and ask for a phone call, pick their brain, you know, take them out for coffee, figure out some way to get you on their radar. This is an amazing way, even if they don't take you on as an assistant, it's a great way to learn um, and always keep learning. That's one of the most important things, which brings me to the next tip. <laughs> Number four, keep on learning take classes if you can't go to workshops or they're not in your area learn online there's so many online courses there's free material there's so many books out there i actually am making a separate video all about my favorite resources for makeup artists so if you are feeling a little bit uninspired definitely check out that video i'll share with you some of my favorite videos and things that i do when i'm feeling uninspired number five test shoot Test shooting is so important, not just for building your portfolio, but also for networking. You never know what 
person or job is gonna give you the next job. So I always try to do test shooting to meet new people and to try new things. That's an amazing opportunity to try different techniques and if it doesn't work, you don't use the photo. And if it does work, you've learned something really cool and added a great picture to your book. Reach out to photographers that you admire. Reach out to a hairstylist. You can also even do before and after photos, you know? If you don't have great photographers in your area, or you know, people that you can build a network with, take before and after pictures. People love looking at those on Instagram and it's a great way to show off your skill, you know, and people can immediately see the difference. I think for me, I can look at a picture of a makeup that's like a natural makeup and I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful. But for someone who doesn't have a trained eye, for makeup, they would look at that and be like, she's not wearing anything. <laughs> so doing those before and after photos are a great way to show people who are not in this industry that could hire you for a wedding, for a special event, for anything to show them what you can do. Number six, uh, work on your resume, work on your website, work on your business cards, on your social presence. Now I'm gonna break this down a little bit further because it's not enough to say that you're gonna work on your website and saying I'm gonna work on my website is really overwhelming. So you need to break down the bigger goals into smaller, more achievable goals so that you can feel good about the progress that you're making. I think it's so easy and I know it took me forever to launch my website. But now that I have my basic template up, it's easier for me to update it. So big goal, update your website. Smaller, more achievable goals, add two new beauty pictures to your beauty website. Take down any photos that don't represent who you are as an artist. Update your bio, etc. The first day that you do not have work but want to be working, you need to update your resume, but breaking that down even further, you need to add last month's jobs onto your resume. So much easier. I think work on your resume, you're like, oh my gosh, I have to do this, this, this. But if you break it down, you're saying, I'm gonna take last month's work and I'm gonna pop it in my resume. And then you just have it and you don't have to think about it. So then when someone asks you for their resume, you know, a few weeks down the road, you're not like, ooh, yeah, I can send it, but it hasn't been updated in six months or a year, or whatever it is. Same thing with you have to update your IMDB page. Easy enough, find your past projects. And then when you're looking for your past projects to add them into your IMDB, you can also reach out to the producer. Or if you are assisting, you can reach out to your department head and talk to them to see how they're doing. Now let's talk about social presence. You know, like be better on social media is not a good enough goal. You need to, when you have slow time, Plan out your posts for the week. I'll take a bunch of different product shots that I can post for later. And I just kind of have this bank that I can um, refer to when I am looking for something to post that I don't have. That's really important to stay active on your social media, especially if you have other people who work in the industry that follow your media as well. Because then that shows them that you're relevant and you're working and when you pop up on their Instagram feed, they're like, oh yeah, that makeup art is awesome. I have this project coming up. Or if they, if they have a friend that needs a recommendation, then they can reach out or recommend you as well. And my last tip is trust that the work will come. I always say when things are slow and my friends are like, what are you up to this week? Instead of being like, I, have, I don't have anything this week. I'm just like, this week? is full of work opportunity <laughs> and it's up to me however I feel that week and just because you're not working um, making money doesn't mean that you can't work on making yourself a better artist so working on your portfolio updating your website working on building your network and meeting new people and there's so many things that you can do that are so important to do during the slow times that will help make up for the busy times. It always happens this way. Just trust that it'll come around and you're great and it's gonna, you're gonna make it work, make it happen. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is it for me for this week. I'm gonna go home and work on some stuff. <laughs> I feel like I just kicked myself in the butt. <laughs> I can watch this video back when things are slow again. 
<laughs> As always, there are more tips and tricks on my Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shannon Marie. I hope you guys are having a great week. Hang in there. You can do this. You are meant to be doing what you're doing. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.